U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken is in Israel to try to finalize a Gaza ceasefire deal. If a deal does happen, Iranian diplomats and Hezbollah have suggested this could put off the expected major strike against Israel. Our correspondent, Jody Cohen, sent us this report from Haifa. This is Haifa, the largest city in northern Israel. Haifa has been the focus of a Hezbollah propaganda video and is expected to be among the Islamic Republic and Iranian proxies' target list if they strike. In anticipation of this, Ramban Hospital in Haifa has made preparations to be able to move its operations underground into its car park. Ramban believes that this is the world's largest underground hospital able to withstand conventional chemical and biological attacks. The hospital says that every medical and surgical department that they have above ground is mirrored underground and that the underground hospital could function for at least 72 hours independently of the electricity and water grid. Rambam, Rambam is 1100 beds, tertiary care center, level one trauma center. So in case something happens, we all go down, we desert the above ground, and all of us coming here where it's totally safe to work. Now President Biden has expressed his hope that a major strike by Iran and its proxy Hezbollah could be put off if Israel and Hamas agree to a hostage truce deal. He has also expressed optimism that a deal could be reached, but cautions that it's far from over. I asked people on the ground if they are optimistic about a deal being reached. Most of the people in Israel are quite, quite optimistic because we are, uh, uh, we are believers in, in peace. I am uh, optimistic about the situation. Yeah, of course. Well, hopefully it will be a good deal, not a bad deal. Uh, but yeah, we want our brother and sister back home, of course. However, Hamas official Samu Abu Zuria has reportedly suggested that optimism for a deal is an illusion. With Anthony Blinken's visit, his ninth to West Asia since Hamas's attack on Israel on the 7th of October, it remains to be seen if he will be able to help push the deal past the finishing line. This is Jody Cohen for We On, World As One. For all the latest news, download the Wii on app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.